Hey guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Card Game Review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Animal Ailments, the wild miming game. It is for three or more players, takes about 30 minutes for ages eight and up. In the game Animal Ailments, it is a similar charades style game. You're going to be drawing a red card for an ailment and a green card for an animal. And in which case, this here is a cat that is a fussy eater. You're going to try and have people guess cards that are in your hand based on actual them out without saying what they are. You can do sometimes growls and all that kind of stuff. And you're going to also throughout the game draw penalty cards as well as power-up cards. These things can change in which the way the game is played. You're going to be based on a timer in the game and as this time runs down you're going to be trying to do as much miming as you can. And if you can do it fast enough you're going to be able to do stuff like steal actions. The, the cat and the fussy eater cards have steal actions like Fuss pot and furball. And if people can guess those, they don't get to get stolen from by the mimer, and the mimer's gonna be able to steal whenever these cards are stated. Uh, so that's some cool aspects as well. Not only that though, but after you're done, your cards are going to be worth a value of a certain point. If somebody's able to guess both the combinations, they're gonna get the red card worth a point, and you are going to get the animal card. If no cards are guessed, no points are given out, and if only one is guessed, you're gonna get the lowest valued card. Game will continue throughout a certain number of rounds, and whoever has the most points at the end of those rounds is declared the winner of animal ailments all right let me show you what's in the game so here we have animal ailments and everything that's included in the game as you can see you got the red deck and the green deck and over here is the 12 plus deck for a little more complicated cards such as road rage trying to figure out an animal with road rage that's pretty crazy over here are power-up cards that we're going to be shuffled into the deck randomly and as you draw a card from the deck if one of these power-up cards is revealed you found a power-up card and you can use it pretty cool also though in the red deck there's going to be penalty cards here and this you can do now this one you can do now or later. Here is the timer in which you're gonna be using on everybody's turn, you're gonna be flipping it over, and when the timer runs out, so does your turn. The cards on um, the back of the cards here are gonna have point totals, this is one and this is two, which are gonna be given out to the guesser as well as the mimer. And that's gonna be what's included in the game along with this box and a big fat rule book that tells you how to play the game. So on your turn, it's fairly simple. You're gonna take the timer and then you're gonna take a red and a green card. If you reveal either a power-up or one of these little penalty cards, you have to do what they say either now or later, depending on what the card says. Green is kind of your option. For this one, it's an extra turn and you can use it later or now. And then this one here is forfeit. Do this on your turn. You either do it laying down or with your eyes closed or on one leg. So that can be pretty crazy while trying to act out animals and their ailments. Ailment literally means like something like you're sick or have a problem, right? Like this guy has a burnt tongue and who is he? Well, it's a manatee. And so you're gonna try and act out a manatee with a burnt tongue. You're gonna flip this over and you're gonna start by doing the green card and then followed by the red card. A player is only going to get one of, uh, they only get one point at the mimer if only one card is guessed. So you're trying to get as many cards guessed as possible because this is worth three points, it's manatee. So if somebody can guess a manatee with a burnt tongue and you can act them out individually and somebody can combine them, whoever does combine them is gonna get this red card and you're gonna take these three points. If only one of the cards is guessed, you are only going to get this red card worth one point. Also though, there's some interesting little aspects on the card. On the bottom here is called a steel action and you can try and mime out either one. You have hot coffee and sea cucumber. If anybody guesses these steel actions, you're gonna be able to steal. However, you cannot steal from the person who guessed it. So it kind of keeps them safe, which is pretty cool. Not only that though, but if they're able to guess two of these steel uh, actions, if you, can, if you can mime out both of them and they're able to guess both of them, you get to steal two, but they are also going to take an extra turn for being able to guess both of them. So good guessers are rewarded greatly in this game. After that is done, you're going to get all the points handed out and you're going to pass your turn to the next player. You're going to give them this little timer here, let them draw and continue. If you're playing with ages 12 and up, you're going to add this deck included to make it a little more challenging for people, a little more interesting. And it comes with different penalties as well as um, different animals and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. All right, well, instead of actually showing you how to play the game on the table and whatnot. Let's go ahead and show you some footage of us playing the game in uh, real time. Uh, 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 uh. Ready? No. Go, flip it over no. for him. No, 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 no. I, I will deliberately lose this one. Three, <laughs> two, one.
You ready? I'm ready. Well, not yet. Yeah, let's see what these are. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Okay. Timer. Is it as bad as Chocolate Holic? <laughs> it should be good to go. Yep. Put it in the mic. Ready? Here we go. Time. Time. Fast food. Oh, I, should, I, was, I didn't get the fast part. You, that, I was, no fast reference. I was thinking I should have gone like. You should have. <laughs> I should have. It's all right though. Oh well. Uh, all right. So. Poor hungry snakes, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I just pointed to your snake. <laughs> so that's the basic idea of how to play the game. It's a pretty simple style of mining game that involves points, which is kind of a nice little aspect, and the harder cards are worth more points. Not just speaking about that, but also variants in the game. When you draw a card that's too hard, you can discard it and draw a new card on your turn, and you can choose to do that, add that, or not add that, depending on how um, experienced or uh, good players are at mining. So that kind of gives a little added twist to the game. But let me tell you what I think about it now that you've seen the game and understand how it's played. First of all, I enjoy these kind of games. I always like these miming games, I like charade style games, and I enjoy games that have a theme to them included with their charades. I'm a big Pictionary style guy and I like all those kind of guessing style things while you're acting in a, in a group of people. If you like fun and excitement, kind of moving back and forth, trying to, uh, it gives you a reason to act funny, which is nice, and not forcing you to do so. However, the penalty cards can tend to do that, so if you don't like that aspect, then maybe not for you. Remember though, also, the one thing I noticed that when you shuffle the deck, sometimes the penalty cards are going to be on top, or the good bonus cards, just kind of shuffle those until the deck and tell those they're not on the top. So that way when you reveal cards, you'll find them instead of them just starting there to begin with, because you're always going to have a red and a green card that is an animal and an ailment for the game. Uh, that being said though, the game's excellent. I really, really enjoyed the game. I've played with little kids, I've played with older adults, and fathers and daughters, as you probably saw in the clips. It's very, very fun. And I think it's one of those games where, um, whether or not my opinion matters uh, in this kind of an aspect, you will already know instantly if you're going to be interested in a game like this. If you like charades, it's definitely something for you to think about, and if you don't, it's not. It's pretty straightforward there. However, the quality is cool, the added little effects are nice to the game, added points. Is it a game I would pick up as well as charades? Definitely, especially for little kids, because this really does cater to them, and it also increases in difficulty from 8 to 12 years old, so that kind of shows you how that works. It's a good game in a group setting as well, something like for maybe a church camp, or maybe a um, uh, like a summer camp or any of that kind of stuff, playing with a bunch of kids as a teacher, working with them. It's going to keep them quiet and um, focused on the task. Well, maybe not quite, well, a little quiet because they can't actually speak, so that might be nice as well. Overall, though, it's an excellent game, and if you're interested in this kind of a game, I would definitely check it out. And if not, mm, pass. That's up to you. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. If you like this video, go and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all helps, as well as checking out Animal Ailments. It's going to be on Kickstarter very soon here. It's a cool little game, specifically if you like that style of game. If not, maybe not, but personally, Love it. And uh, when I have little kids over, I'm definitely playing it, especially in big group settings. Also, go ahead and check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. Get tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more, as well as checking out our friends and family, everythingboardgames.com, thegiveawaygeek.com, Ferdinand the Cardboard Stacker. They got giveaways, tutorials, uh, blog posts, all that stuff on this website. So more fun than even my site. My reviews are maybe a little, a little cooler, right? All right, well, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Ooh, I did it.